He called the Palestinian leader Yasser Arafat the son of 60,000 whores, charged Jordan with Judaizing its citizens, accused Turkey of collaborating with the enemies of the Arabs, and blamed the Israeli intelligence agency Mossad for the 9-11 attacks on the U.S. Diplomacy was not, perhaps, the strongest suit of Mustafa to last the Syrian defense minister from 1972 until 2004, who has died. Aged 85, he professed his love for Madonna, Jennifer Lopez and Gina Lolo Brigida. In 1983 he marveled at how a Beirut bomber had succeeded in sending 200 American Marines to hell, and he openly demanded that Syria should absorb Lebanon. Loose cannon though he was, Talas was nevertheless for many years a pillar of the B.A.T.H. party establishment, and his influential economic networks spanned Syria, Lebanon and Iraq. He was unerringly loyal to Hafez al-Assad, the Syrian president for three decades, and after Assad's death in 2000 helped secure power for his son, Bashar. Talas had been due to retire in 2002, but the grateful Bashar responded by reappointing him defense minister. Despite U.S. protests, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Bashar al-Assad, left, and Mustafa Talas, right in Beret, in 2000, photograph, Amar Abid Rabo, AFP, Getty Images, Talas was born in the western Syrian city of Rastin. His father, Abdul Kader Talas, had grown rich selling guns to Turkish garrisons. During Ottoman times, Mustafa went to school in nearby Homs, and at 15 joined the band anti-imperialist BAATH party. Four years later he became a BAATH cell leader in Rostin.